son. It's my baby boy. He has decided not guilty on all of the charges. The indictment so, against Officer Richard Hayes was tossed out. The charges dropped. No indictment for a New York City police officer in the death of Eric Garner from a chokehold. Officer Peter Liang shot Akai Gurley while on patrol back in 2014. Police officer Peter Liang, guilty. Was found guilty to of... To be convicted... Guilty. As to count five, charging with crime of official misconduct, what is your verdict? Guilty. We must not allow Peter Liang to be made a scapegoat! No scapegoat! No scapegoat! No scapegoat! You have a no. police officer who does something to try to hurt somebody and breaks the law, that police officer should be prosecuted. But you should not single out an individual who had an accidental discharge in a darkened hallway without the proper training or the proper equipment, and you have two victims as a result of that. Peter <laughs> I can understand why the Chinese community is so upset because Peter Liang has been treated very differently. I think that the white cops were exonerated and acquitted in so many cases, right? From uh, Darren Wilson to uh, you know uh, Dan Pentaleno um, in the Eric Garner case. All I mean. Dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of white cops have been exonerated. But it doesn't mean that then Peter Liang should get the same treatment as these white cops, which is that he should be fully acquitted. If anything, it means that we use this as an example that all cops, right, no matter what color they are, who kill, need to be held accountable. We believe justice was served when, um, when the court system convicted Peter Liang of second-degree manslaughter. It's absolutely true that Peter Liang, as a Chinese-American, is being singled out when there are so many other cops that need to be held accountable, especially white cops, for killing black people. The bigger uh, context here is that Peter Liang, as part of that paramilitary force, killed an innocent black person. Justice! to try to cover up the failings of a system of government which allowed hallways to be darkened, elevators not to be operating, improper equipment and training for our police officers. All of those things were the real causes. Peter Liang pulled the trigger, but really the bigger context is that the NYPD as a whole, as an institution, needs to be held accountable for the deaths of many innocent people. Every 28 hours, a black person is killed by a police officer or by a vigilante every 28 hours. First,要向本次不幸这个死于意外事故的格力默哀一分钟。我们也向所有的在历次警方执行当中死于意外事故的朋友们默哀一分钟。现在开始。